Welcome to West Ham Unofficial. I hope you are all safe and well. Like the video, subscribe to West Ham Unofficial if you are new around here. Today I'm going to be talking about a certain Jesse Lingard. Before I get into that, make sure, as I said, drop a like on the, on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. We are on the road to 1.5k subscribers then to the magic 2000 mark. And if you could hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, that that would be greatly appreciated. And also you can uh, uh, turn, the, turn, the, turn, the, turn the notification bell on as well. So you you'll be notified every single time I go live uh, 30 minutes before or I upload a YouTube video like this one here today so you'll get notifications up on your phone uh, when I upload a video so you, so you so you could be one of the first people to watch a brand new video if you could help the help the help the help the channel further though uh, there I, I have now activated as you all know the channel memberships you can check out the channel memberships by the link in the description or or by uh, uh, by the by the by the subscribe button. There's a join button where you can uh, where you can check out all the all the di all the different levels. There's two levels uh, from just three pound a month. You can support West Ham official even further. Um, um, and yeah, settings for videos are not going to be in the bottom end of my, in the bottom end of my bedroom for the next couple of videos until probably until the end of the week because I'm in a peaceful, sunny, hot Essex. I'm in uh, Clacton on Sea or Holland on Sea. Uh, Holland on sea to be exact uh, and I'm here for the next couple of days taking a bit of a break but I thought I'd come outside the roast is in the oven um, before we uh, um, before, um, before that I thought I'd talk about Jesse Lingard and you know it's all sparking back up again Man United had a uh, had a a bit of a, a bit of a training day yesterday um we thought he was on his way to West Ham you know things were just small things were looking quite good in a way because Jesse Lingard wasn't 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 really an option uh, on the um to put as a, as a, as a, as a Manchester United player on the back of a shirt. These just small little things um help out um help you know and, and of course West Ham Twitter look into this a lot <laughs> as you will know if you are on that platform. Um, but pictures emerged yesterday of him training, looking happy, smiling with Manchester United. Um, Declan Rice uh, commenting, "I see you." All of this and um the general vibe is he seems to be happy back at Manchester United um they did today as I'm as I'm filming this play Derby he played 45 minutes in, in a in a pre-season game against Derby um all all smiles were went 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 over to the fans at the end um looked looks looks really happy to be back in a Manchester United shirt it it looks funny to see him in their new and weird shirt as well it is weird their sponsor on that home shirt but that's a debate for, for another day um Good for Manchester United fans, him smiling back uh, as a Red Devil player, but it's a bit sad for me really seeing him back there. Um, Oli, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer did did say uh, before and off after the game that Jesse Lingard is in his plans for the next couple of seasons. Whether that's going to be on the bench, whether whether he'll want to be on the bench, we will just have to wait and see. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting, but over the last two days, it's been suggesting that he's happy and that he's going to stay at. Uh, at, my, at, my, at, at, at Manchester United, which of course is a really, really bad thing. Uh, some people are saying they wouldn't pay any more than twenty five million. I would look what he did. We on we need players, and if we're not going to spend any money, then we've lost a player from our squad that paper thin um, as it was. And we all know we're not going to spend very much money. Twenty six days from the Premier League season have started, and we haven't signed a player. People will say, "Oh, don't worry, don't worry." No, no, I've. I've had enough of this now. I've had enough of the waiting. It will happen. We've seen this so many times before. So many times before. We'll wait and then we'll get the same old at the end um, of the of the of the of the transfer window. We tried. It's not good enough anymore. We're twenty six days away and we need a good five, six, seven players. We we are halfway through the transfer window and all we've signed is youth players, which is all well and good. But we need some big boys. We need some proper signings for. Um, for 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 positions that are vitally needed in, we need a striker. We haven't got a striker at this football club. We've only got two uh, central midfielders, and of course you've got Mark Noble as well, which you know can step in. We need a goalkeeper. We need a centre back. We perhaps need a backup left back. There's a lot of players that we need, and there just doesn't seem to be any movement. Alfonso Ariola seems to be the only player that seems to be close to signing and signing. And even if we get him done by the end of the week, twenty days left, we've signed one player. We need we need a big 
big marquee signing of a striker hasn't happened yet. The more we wait, the more the price of clubs are going to go up because the more desperate we're going to get. We should have done this business early on and we should have signed Jesse Lingard up if 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 David Moyes wanted him early on in the in the in the in the transfer window now and this is and this is the price we're gonna have to pay now there's one year left on his contract he seems happy at man united we needed if we wanted to sign and show the intent and get it done within the first week of the transfer window not letting him go back to man united look all happy blah 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 and uh, start playing a little bit of football for man united because it's obvious now ole's gonna social's come out and said he's in my plans jesse lingard is in ole gonna social's plans obviously he's not going to be a starter see this is where jesse lingard comes into this situation now is is he going to accept being at Manchester United and knowing that he's not going to start every game at, at West Ham United he will start every game I can tell you this now he will start every single game he will be a crucial team player um, is he is he just now going to sit back at Man United and make the odd sub appearance every now and then you know as a as a, as a super sub and play and play and, and start a game every now and then He's had a fantastic season at West Ham, and this is where I think Jesse Lingard would be foolish to, to, to co- kind of continue his career. He's he had a fantastic second half of, of the season with West Ham, and I just don't see why he would want to um, kind of jeopardise his first team playing career again to go back and sit on the bench at Man United. I just don't understand it personally. If it were me, I'd be saying. I've had enough of Man United. Yes, it's my boy, boy or club. Yes, I live in Manchester, but I'm not going to get first team football here. And you know, he's 28 years old now. He hasn't got a lot of career left in him. He's probably got five years tops. Does he want to be spending at least another one, two, three years sat on the bench, not being a first team footballer, or would he rather be happy playing first team football in a European club next season on the rise with 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 English players like Declan Rice? I know certainly which player that um which which scenario I would like to take if I was Jesse Lingard. Obviously I'm biased but Man United seems the option. Um um not Man United, West Ham seems the option, sorry, to come and play regular football, which he hasn't had in the last two years at Man United. So I think it's a bit foolish, in my opinion, for him to uh for him to go back to Man United. Yes, he'll probably get some football, but he'll get more football with the Hammers and you know, he's he is loved at the Hammers and hopefully we could get him over the line. If it if listen, if it costs us thirty million pounds, I don't care. I really don't care. If David Moyes wants him, I don't care how much he costs. If he cost, all right, I wouldn't go any more than thirty million pounds, but I'd pay thirty million pounds for Jesse Lingard. Look what he's done. Um, he's he's basically single handedly, well not single handedly, but attacking wise, he has steered us into European football in the last half of the season. We 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 have we have we have we had a platform in February when he came in, and he catapulted that platform up to get us into Europa League and not to you know mess it up on the final couple of days of the season. And for me, he's a crucial player and he should have been signed up already. He should be a West Ham player. But instead, we've been a little bit lethargic. 100 110% 110%, I know that David Moyes wants Jesse Lingard to be a West Ham player by the end of the transfer window. We've just been a bit slow, a bit lethargic in my opinion. Just like West Ham seems to, seem to do every other transfer window. Um, but there we go. That is a Jesse Lingard update of the situation. It's not looking good um, for 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 all of us West Ham fans if we wanted to see back at the London Stadium. But 26 days left, anything can happen. We could see him back in a West Ham shirt. I hope we definitely do. Um, but yeah. Come on, you irons. Videos coming. Not so frequent, but there will be a couple of couple of videos dropping in the next few days. And yeah, I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Come on, you irons.